Oh my god. Why am I so scared? <laughs> oh, okay. There's a principal. <laughs> Hey guys, I look like poo, like a, look like a fat butt cheek. I'm gonna do my makeup. And after all, you're, oh, that's kind of big. And after all, you're my Mikey ball sack. Bumple off. Sarah and I both know that I suck at skincare. I literally hardly ever get acne. So when I do, I always make a big deal of it. I don't know. I want to get a new moisturizer because I've had the same moisturizer for way too- How long should you have the same moisturizer for? Because I feel like- Does moisturizer expire? Okay, comment down below if moisturizer expires because I would really like to know. Okay, well, I can't see an expire date, so we're just going to continue. This is my concealer. It literally does not match my skin tone anymore, but that's okay. So apparently to match- the correct shade of concealer. It has to match the color of your arm. My arms are a lot paler than this. Tea with Mary. Basically, I was like, you know what? Everyone keeps calling me a visco girl because I literally was a visco girl. I still am, like you can see my scrunchies back there. But like, everyone would call me a visco girl and I was like, no, I'm not a visco girl. Anyways, the next day, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna dress up as an e-girl convince everyone that I'm not a visco girl. I split my eyebrow and it looked so stupid. So basically I had a split eyebrow and um, some people come up to me in my French class and they really liked it, but I honestly, I hated it. I had it split for like a week and then I started filling in because it started to look really bad. This is, this is good enough, honestly, I really don't care. Oh, oh. oh hey, Jason. <laughs> I'm keeping that in, that was so bad. I'm taking my scrunchie out. My hair is a mess. I'm gonna put my hair in French braids and then I'm gonna go and re-pierce my ear. Lol. No. Okay. These braids, I literally look like a child, but that's okay. So we're gonna go like this. Oh my God. I why am I so scared? <laughs> I've done this before, it's just I know this is gonna hurt. I'm gonna take this out. Is it bleeding yet? Is that blood? I, can, I honestly cannot tell if that's blood or just a hole. Oh, I feel like I should get that one out before it starts to bleed. It's literally bleeding, guys. You guys, it's not bleeding as much as the last time I pierced it. I'm just gonna like pick at it, I think. Okay, so um, I'm gonna do some work off camera and I'll come back when we are somewhat there. Okay, update guys. Um, I got like, uh, okay, so I literally turned off the camera for like, I think two minutes um, and I just like shoved it. It literally hurt so bad that I had to take it off and then it started like bleeding. Like I swear, it's just the back that's closed up now. Oh. I literally feel like I need to ice it, but I don't want to ice it. Okay, I'm gonna go. Okay. Let's do it. Let's shove it. I have to poo. I don't know why it's not going through. But this is probably what's annoying me the most. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I kind of want to go get ask my mom to shove it through. Okay, you know what? It's, I can't get through at this point. So I think I'm gonna go ask my mom. Really sorry, this is not gonna be on camera, but I'm gonna show you guys when I'm done. Okay, my ear's really red, but we got it through. It literally hurts so bad. So basically, I asked my mom to like just shove it through, and I just couldn't do that, so I got her to do it. It really hurt, I almost cried, but it's through. Anyways, guys, that's the end of my part of this week's vlog. Hope you guys liked it. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. And you will see Sarah's part of the week and stuff. So, yeah. Bye. Love you. Hey, guys. So, I have no idea of what to film right now. I'm going to film myself taking my pajamas out of my drawer. I have my drawer here and then pajama shorts. Pajama shirt. 
Yeah. I've been going driving a lot. I have my license. I should be happy about, but I find it kind of boring just because, you know, like, if I'm driving somewhere, I want to actually be going somewhere. So <laughs> just driving around for practice is boring to me, but I'm sure it'll get better at some point. Oh, it looks like I have a ooh. Wow. If you're bored in quarantine, okay, listen, hear me out on this, okay? I need, I need to explain this. So you're bored in quarantine, right? And you don't know what to do. And you're thinking, you know what? I want some new music. I have an incredible solution for you, my friend. My sister made a playlist with some of the most incredible songs in history. I'm not even gonna lie, they're that good. So, um, I will have a link put to that, that playlist in the description. Because honestly, I just love to bless your souls with some good music. They're just splendid. Like, they're really good songs. I've been listening to them a lot recently. Right now, I think I'm a little bit high on life, you know? Um, I know that's kind of like a boomer term. Actually, boomer is a boomer term, too. Quarantine has brought my intelligence way down. I'm noticing that right now. It's also brought down my interacting skills a lot for Mother's Day. We went to my cousin's house for, like, my grandma was there, too. So we had, like, a big Mother's Day extravaganza, if you will. I forgot how to socialize. Anyways, that's my life problems. But a playlist will be in the description and that's kind of all i have to say so bye